This is the second section of the discrete random variables chapter and here we're looking at uh, finding the variance of a discrete random variable. Now we know how to find the mean E of X where you multiply each outcome by its probability. The variance, um, and it's written up here at the top, but I'm just going to write it out. The variance of a discrete random vari variable is um, sort of defined like this. So it's the sum or the, the um, mean of x squared, the expected value of x squared, minus the mean squared. So this is the mean squared. Now this is very similar to how you work out um, the variance from like a table. If you just had a table and uh, uh, from your, your normal math lesson and you're working out the variance, then you would do the uh, sum of uh, x squared over n minus the mean squared yes yeah, so you might write it like that and in fact we can write the variance like this yeah or even like this so we know how to work out the mean that's just e of x we're going to square that and then we're also going to square the outcomes, the numbers on the dice. We're going to work out the mean of that. And it's going to be that value minus the mean squared. So the e of, e of x squared minus e of x all squared. Yeah. Now, it, it, it can be written like, like this as well. But you'll find that this way is much easier um, way to work out the variance. A fair six-sided dice is rolled. The number on the uppermost face is modelled by the random variable x, find far x. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to draw this table. So when you get questions like this, always draw the table out so you can see your outcomes and you can see your probabilities and then you can do your working from that. Yeah, so it's a fair six sided dice. So that's what's going to be in the table. So the first thing we need to do is to work out um, E of X squared. Now E of X squared is going to be one squared times the six plus two squared times the six plus three squared times the six plus four squared times the six plus five squared times the six plus six squared times the six. Right, so that's going to be a six plus uh, four six plus nine over six plus 16 over six plus 25 over six plus 36 over six so let's just add the numerators together. That's just adding square numbers together, isn't it? Uh, 36 plus 25 plus 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1. And we get 91. So you get 91 over 6. Okay, so that's E of X squared. So var X is E of X squared, which is 91 over 6, minus the mean squared. Now, we know the mean. That's 3.5 squared. Now, do I need to do the working for it? I could do, but I know that from symmetry. So I can put by symmetry, I have found um, the mean. Yeah, so remember what we said, if you've got a symmetrical table like this, in terms of probabilities and outcomes, the mean is gonna be in the very center. So I could do the working again, um, but since I know it by symmetry, um, I'll just write that down. So let's now do 91 over 6 
and I'm going to subtract 3.5 squared and I get 35 over 12. Fine to leave it like that as, as it's exact because as a uh, decimal it's like uh, 2.916 recurring so I could do it like that but since this is ex exact I'm going to leave it like that so there we go there's the variance right you should now be able to do exercise 1b on pages 6 to 7 so um, let me just write down here the variance far x which is e of x squared minus e of x squared.